Hi guys, I'm going to do a video now on Safari for Windows. Uh, this is, okay, first of all, Internet Explorer, right? Internet Explorer 7. I know the IE8 beta just came out and it's supposedly much better, but who wants to bother waiting for for Internet Explorer Lazy WebKit to open? Okay, let's try YouTube.com. Just to see speed-wise, it's kind of slow as you can see I don't even feel like waiting exit out I am using Safari for what the hell okay Safari for Windows oh I know what that was that was a cookie from google.com because it infects Internet Explorer so easily so Safari this is what I'm using now as you can see I have the arrow theme I'll do a tutorial on get the arrow in Safari but when you first download it from apple.com here, I'll show you where to get it. Let's see, Apple is already video, so this isn't going to be a snappy. I'll also get YouTube HD, all three loading at the same time, and it's already loading faster. So, go to Apple Downloads tab. This is how to get Safari, by the way. You go to the Downloads tab, and uh, YouTube HD is done loading. So... Yeah, my videos. So, Apple Downloads. And go over here to all... No, go to Safari version 3.2. Mac or PC. The world's best browser. You go hit the download link. And it will begin loading a page. <clears throat> oh yeah, check out iTunes 8. It's pretty sweet. Um, why I love Safari is incredibly fast. Like, unbelievably fast. Uh, pop-up blocking. There are some plugins and add-ons for it. It's pretty cool. Download it now. It'll pop up a window. You could say, I want to download Safari or I want to download Safari and QuickTime. This is for Windows because it already knows you're on Windows, not a Mac, because you would have already had Safari on a Mac. So, um, I just hit the download Safari button. Oh, we might have a snow day tomorrow. And download Safari. Now, obviously, uh, Apple made it quite easy for you to, you know, the user interface is quite simple for you to download and install it. So, I will let you do that on your own. Once you get it, uh, you'll get a little Apple Safari thing on your desktop. And I set it as my default internet browser, so I'm going to open up a new window. It opens up faster than Firefox, faster than Internet Explorer, faster than Flock. Faster than Opera. It's the fastest internet browser I have used on Windows. Now, I have used Chrome, and I installed it for security reasons, but it is, they are comparable in speed, I have to say. Chrome or Safari, leave your comments, I'm not sure. But um, I like Safari just because of how simple it is. I can clear history just like that. I can go in private browsing just like that. I can go empty cache just like that. I can bookmark something just really quickly. Check my Gmail, just like that. So, um, uh, it's, it's definitely a significant improvement over Internet Explorer. If you're still using Internet Explorer, I highly suggest you upgrade to either Fire, Firefox or Safari. Um, but uh, Opera is decent. Now, let me show you the Acid 3 problem in Safari. Um, everyone knows about the Acid 3 test. It will, it has to get to 100 out of 100 to pass, look at that, 74 out of 100, because the link test failed. Now, if I were to open Opera 10, which does take a good long while to load, um, you would see the ACID3 test is much higher, despite the lack of speed of Opera 10. So let's see, ACID3, why did that not work with 3? And there's a loading bar and click on that and it'll test your browser real quick does it yeah does it does it yep yeah, there we go. 100 out of 100 not a smooth animation but the point is a plus safari not so much but it's it's significantly faster it just blows it out of the water it's so much faster than any other internet browser i've ever used so Obviously, while I'm using screen recording software at the same time and uploading videos and working my CPU, let's see this right here real quick. 
I've got 100 processes running in Vista right now, so obviously not the best performance, but hey, I've got the connections running. It's good. It's it's Safari. It works, and I, I'm going to have to recommend it to anyone just looking for some good freeware to see it. Now, there's a lot of people using Firefox, and I admit Firefox is pretty sweet. I have the Firefox preloader, so it loads just a few seconds faster. I wish there was an Opera preloader. Safari does not need a preloader because it is that fast. Um, there's there's add-ons. I've got a, a crowd of add-ons for it. So the progress bar, like Safari, I can change the color of it. I mean, it's it's cool, you know. Let's see. I'll change it to blue. So now whenever I load a web page like YouTube, hey look, at the top, it'll, you know, there's just add-ons make um, Firefox more favorable, I guess, in the overall market, but I use Safari as my main browser because of pure speed. So, thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Peace out.